spin a narrative and hurry up and find the pe- find the person that did it because now people are really questioning what is going on and like what three percent of society is woke <laughs> as far as the rap culture is concerned and these uh demons that run hollywood in the music industry um so I just, you know, if you guys listen, if you guys go back and, and, and uh, replay my first video when I first announced, you know, the situation with Takeoff and him being unalive, um, no longer with us, you know, I explained to you how the music industry worked and that this is just another soul on Satan's books, you know. Um, this was orchestrated, this was a hit, and yeah, it's nothing new, the Illuminati, you know, uh, the powers that be, this is how they operate, if you're not producing what they want you to produce, you know, uh, monetary-wise, um, yeah, it's a possibility you can get took out, you're gonna get took out eventually, they, they, what, I mean, they give you a good 10 years in the industry, you know, if you're really good, 20 and then, I mean, if, if you're just completely sold out and, I mean, on a hook in a chain, you know, uh, by the fallen angel's agenda, you know, directly under Satan, you'll just keep on going until, I guess, your number's up or they decide to take you out. I don't know, because some people live to be old in the industry, but you can tell that there's no God in them. There's no Jesus Christ, you know? So, and i also let you guys know in my videos too how the industry work also that if there is people in the way of their target when they you know they're very normally they're not sloppy you know but still they'll take out somebody else to get to their target that that's no problem that's just more blood for the deity that's just more blood for the demon that's just more power fuel fueling the demon in the whole situation so you got to look at it as a, as a, you know as a spiritual uh from a a spiritual aspect you know we're not wrestling against flesh and b- blood but powers you know principalities uh these deities in high places you know uh satan of the air god of the air so um there's a hierarchy satan has an army he has a hierarchy this is uh, you know his ranks under him and you know there are regions that these demons are assigned to that's why chicago's so bad with the shoot 'em up and the drill music and things of that nature um because there's a deity assigned over that jurisdiction there is a a a a chief commander well no satan is the chief commander but however you know there's a general there's a general over that region y'all and then there's chiefs there's lieutenants i mean you have to think of this as as the army in the the carnal the natural the secular flesh right but then now take that take that those concepts and those teachings that you learn and apply them to the unseen to the disembodied to the uh the spiritual realm you know then what do you have it the same rule applies so you guys have to you know get into your knowledge open up your bible um, all of this is spiritual. It doesn't matter how they sugarcoat it, how, how they package it up. Hollywood, land of the stars. Come on, y'all. Fallen angels. This is what they do. They they make up to break up. <laughs> they they put on faces, y'all. They 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 dress up. They camouflage as something else. You know, a, a, as above, so below. Okay, Alistair Crawley, uh, Alistair, excuse me, these are the people that they follow, um, oh man, there's so many deities up in Hollywood, Baphomet is a big one, um, 
man, these these people are ran and overtaken by the fallen ones. Azaziel. Azaziel is the fallen angel, the one the one who introduced war cosmetic cosmetics and things of that nature to the, the humans the human race so um <clears throat> you know uh, that's why you'll see some deities uh, um, excuse me some stars like say for instance the rock you know the rock music the stars like now all of a sudden NBA young boy he's gothic you know he, he is under the god of Horus you know, to where, the, and what they do is they put on this makeup and they do these rituals to appease these gods, y'all. This is what they do. So, ain't no telling what Offset, Takeoff, and Quavo was into because they're into something. They don't believe in Jesus, y'all. Jesus is the only God, the true living God, the highest God of them all. He is the creator. He is the only one who is God of love. You know what I mean? But he is vengeance, war. He is all that. He is the sword. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, a lot of these people, when they get into the music industry, too, they don't tell you because they have to be silent. They take an oath, y'all. They cannot speak. They are gagged. They have contracts that, written contracts, but really it's spiritual also. And some are blood oaths also that um, they cannot speak. Otherwise, they will be subject to to the law which they took oath under they will be subjected to these reprimands to these judgments and that could be meaning taking the eye that could be a rusty screwdriver to the butt that means that could be mk ultra that means you losing your life um sacrificial lamb you know uh azaziel was a scapegoat um, from what I, I read in the book of Enoch. Yeah, y'all explain y'all knowledge. Go get that book of Enoch 1. I suggest that you read book 1 by R.H. Charles. Don't read the other one. They said they demonic. I really don't know because I listened. I didn't read it. You know, I scanned over it, but I didn't read it. But back to takeoff. It was a sacrifice, y'all. They're going to sugarcoat it. They're going to package it up. They're gonna, it, they are gonna. don't care who they take down to cover it up because after all of this is said and done um anything else any other death after takeoff is a casualty of war you get it you you get what i'm trying to say now remember how i said the theme is but this is not a video game this is not a movie this is real life but they portray it as a movie look how they portray it to the world it's like a movie to us it's like these people are characters but the real people who are involved they know what's going on you will never know because you cannot touch them. You can only see them. You cannot smell them. You cannot feel them. You don't live close to them. They are through a television lens. Okay? Tell us the vision in the lens. You know, crystal ball. All of this is rich witchcraft, y'all. You have to dig deep. You have to be able to read your Bible first. Leviticus, Deuteronomy, these are the laws and, and, and the, the unclean things of the world. I'm telling you, these elite, these are the rich people that will not make it to heaven. These are the rich people who put mammon over God. These are the rulers and the dictators, the kings that the Bible talk about that they trust in chariots and their horses and their money. They don't trust in God. They serve a deity that has no high power, just magical and, and you know, that type of power, you know, um, demonic. You know, it, it's, all of this is Luciferian, uh, Hinduism, Kabbalah, Satanism, this is all this in the cauldron, you know, atheism, uh, these, this is, uh, this is very demonic, and this is, it's already, it's already been like that, these, these, these people that claim to be the real Jews of Jesus Christ, but yet they don't believe in Jesus Christ, they worship, worshiping these Eastern gods, this Allah, this Islam, and all of this other stuff, y'all, it's a war, I hope 
I know you're like, you know, Marona, this is a lot of information. You're kind of like rambling on, but I'm not. Replay it over and over again. Take the snippets. Jesus spoke in parables, didn't he? And then his sheep, he said, they know his voice, don't you? You get what I mean? The Lord said he goes to prepare a place for us. And, you know, when when he, he's finished, he's going to come get us. And, and we, the sheep, we know the way because we know him. So you got to dig deep. We, you, you know the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. If it were not so, he would have told us. And he's, he has went to go prepare a place for us in heaven. That's why you know it's either heaven or hell. Which way you going to go? Up or down? One third of the angels is already here on the earth. That's why you don't see the stars. If you look up, the stars, the sky ain't even full of stars no more. I remember one time I was looking at the stars and I asked the Lord. I was walking late night and I asked Jesus. I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, what happened to the stars? Where are the stars at? You know what he told me? He said, they fallen. They fallen, y'all. They fallen. 11, 11. When I just said that, I got the numbers 11, 11. In Jesus Christ's name, y'all, I'm speaking. I'm speaking to y'all. This is your prophet. Listen, I'm telling y'all the truth. Quit following after these Hollywood people doing what they do, trying to stay up with the Joneses because they leaving you to they lead you the path straight to hell. You're on a one way ticket. John ten ten. The Lord the, the the you know the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but the Lord has come to give us life and give it to us abundantly. You have to grab on to the 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 vine, you know, the branch. You know, you have to produce fruit. You either gonna produce good fruit or you're going to produce nothing at all, which is bad fruit, which is, this is why God said, test the spirits. What do you see? Everybody following Hollywood because it's through a TV lens, but they ain't doing nothing but conjuring up spells, putting salt up up, up in their houses, up in these mansions, eat, eating feces, and, um, you know, uh, abominating themselves and, and, and becoming unclean to where you cannot reside in the camp of the holy one which is which is, which is Jesus you are now defiled you are unclean you have to go outside the camp and you're deemed unholy and then therefore your god your true god he's away from you when 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 these higher up people have you so- sign these contracts and do these rituals with this blood goat's blood sheep's blood um birds cats what else they be using? Maybe even perhaps bats. I don't know. China is a very abominable um, culture. You know, very pagan. You know, Europe, all this Eastern culture that has brought it to the West, y'all. You know, um, it goes deep. But Islam, with all these gins, they be conjuring up to do these spells. All these druids uh, performing these acts. And and taking this ancient esoteric information and they plant with it. CERN, open up the gates and the pits of hell. All of these demons and devils, they're, they're floating around. You can't see it. You got to be holy. You, you got to be touched by God. You got to make a decision and then God will come to you. He'll enlighten you and he'll speak to you. He will give you all the desires of your heart. You don't have to tap into black magic and hoodoo, voodoo, santeria, and obey. You don't have to cast lots like the dice. You get what I'm saying? Take off. Them dice, the ritual, oh, it's just like hoodoo, voodoo, or uh, what is that, obey? Um, But anyway, when they shake the bones and then they throw them, okay, casting of lots. You know, to figure out what your path gonna be, determine what end of the stick you get. How? What is your destiny? What is your life going to be? You know, take the lesser uh, 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 of of the of the greater. So, like I said, maybe I'll make a part three, perhaps. But 
It was a sacrifice. Don't let them mis- mislead you. Don't let them uh, uh, lead you astray. Don't let them take you down the rabbit hole because you know the truth. God tells you all if you read the Ten Commandments. Okay, how many commandments are these stars breaking? Are these rappers breaking? Not just rappers, because it ain't. It is about rap, but it ain't about rap. You know how everybody trying to say, oh, say it ain't about rap. It's about the culture. It's about uh, the individual. Yeah, it is. But it's also about these oppressors, these people in high up places that are dictating because they have the power because they have the money to run and rule over the poor, the oppressed, the ignorant, the defiled, the abominated, the 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 leftover. Um you know, and so it, it go deep. You you know that you are the real Jew. We know that we are the real J- Jews. We are the real children of Islam it is Israel. We are the real children. You know the the lion of Judah, the tribe, the lion of Judah, you know Jerusalem. Yeah, Shalom, man, y'all. I'm telling you, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Yahweh, Yeshua, praise the Lord Jesus Christ to the Most High. Give Him all glory, all praise. You have the victory, and you have the intelligence and the knowledge to know good from evil bad from good and what is occultic you know all this hidden knowledge this esoteric information that these people are trying to seek out from the tour trying to translate it in a different way and all this sex magic it's, it's a lot of sex magic going on too because these how you appease the gods and you know they they said alistair crawley he you know, reached a disembodied spirit, which I'm pretty sure he had a legion. They they make it seem like this man just talked to one or, you know, got a hold to one. No, I believe that he was in contact with the real fallen angels. Azaziel for for one, because he's he's the god of, of you know, he the fallen angel of war. But, you know, on to say all of this sex magic and all of this other stuff. Hollywood loves to worship egypt deities uh and we know that these deities are doomed look at what happened to pharaoh okay um we we know that this is not good you know all these egyptian um deities you know hollywood loves egyptian deities horus and osiris for some big reason they love baphomet and, um, you know, and there's a, even the, the god of, of chaos. And, you know, for some reason I have Asmodeus in, in my mind. But, uh, what? Lilith has to come with that. The the succubus. The, the uh, what is the other one? The kill, the uh, I don't even know how to say it. Succubus and a kikabine. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm chopping up these words. But. All I know is what I know in my heart and my spirit from the Holy Spirit that tells me the truth. And if I don't know the truth, I'm not going to speak it. But, you know, I have to tell y'all divinely what's going on in so many words. I'm not used to just talking straight like this. This is more like a a podcast, like (laughs) a broadcast. Y'all can just listen, you know, clean up your house or you know, whatever you do, and just listen to it over and over again, because I'm just putting some knowledge in your ear. I'm pumping new flavor uh, through your ear. (laughs) What Craig Mack said, I'm pumping new flavor. I'm the new flavor of the year, pumping it in your ear. You know, you need to listen to the word of God. The, the, The real knowledge is Jesus Christ. You know, all these other deities, they're they're below they're beneath they don't have infinite you know they don't have infinite time in their hand they got a time coming then you know they're chained to the bottom of the abyss you know uh the pits of hell sheol like you know they got a time coming so you know the seals are being broken messages are being interpreted mysteries are being understood you guys are being woken up like come
come on? Is it going to be... Are you on Lazarus' side or the rich man's side? The rich man made it... He went straight to hell, y'all, when he died. Him and Lazarus, uh, they passed at the same time. Lazarus went to heaven, y'all. And then the rich man wanted his... He wanted to warn his family. I think he had like five to eight family members he wanted to warn. He was like, he wanted to warn his family members. It was no way possible. Like, you know, so witchcraft is, you know, all you need to put all of these things down. You need to renounce and denounce these things. Get up out of these things because you know when some got a, a grip on you or a, a hold on you when you can't let go of it. Test it. Test it and see. Whether it's drinking, drugs, witchcraft, uh, spiritism, um, whatever, necromancing, you know, uh, people going to the grave, smoking, doing all type of stupid stuff, sage, burning sage, quit, uh, uh, celebrating Halloween and Valentine's, all this stuff is pagan, all of this stuff is, 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 is esoteric, it's, you know, it's a religion within a religion, a thought up through a man, you know, do you serve man or, or God, you serve God, you don't serve a man, Man will lead you straight to hell. Lean on to not to your, lean on not to your own thinking or your understanding. Uh, and that acknowledge God in all your ways that He will make your path straight. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm kind of kind of uh, tongue tied because you know my time is limited <laughs> on this message that I'm giving y'all. You know, but um, yeah, lean on to God. Like, man, can I help you but get you to, into a bind? What, what time? Notice if you test yourself, think back. All the times that you put your trust in a man and what happened. And I'm not talking about man as in gender. I'm talking about human, humankind. You know, man and or female. And it, it failed. Because, okay, you know what the law says. God's law. You know, basic instructions before leaving earth. The Bible. King James, preferable. But, you know... The, the strong concordance, you know, stuff like that. You know, sh- study to show thyself approved. Come on, y'all. Give a thumbs up. This is some knowledge, some food for thought. We, we should be on meat by now. We should be off the baby bottle, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to really talk to you guys, give you guys some real talk because I don't like what's going on, what I'm hearing. All of a sudden, they got the scenario, and they didn't kill the dude, the the, the fake killer. I don't care how many pictures they got uh, film showing. that It's all still a setup, though. It's a setup, though. It's a setup, though, y'all. They already knew. These demons are not stupid. They're smart, but then they are kind of dumb, too, because my whole thing is they don't know the moves of the Lord, and that is the outcome. You know, God, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He has the the say so whether he going to let these demons get on you or or he going to have them at bay. You see them trying to say the threshold. It, you you it's up to God and uh, you know initially in the beginning and the end. Like he God got to say if he going to let the demon if if he going to let the 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 enemy slay the wicked or the wicked slay the enemy. So, if you run it in these circles, in these domains, and you ain't covered by the blood of Jesus, you know, nine times out of ten, it's slim. It's, it's Russian roulette. So, that's what I'm saying. But God know uh, if you're a child of God or not. He know if you're on his side because it's weighed by the heart. So, a lot of these uh, rappers, actors, uh, producers, executives, you know, all of these people in the industry, whatever place or title that they have, these pastors... Um, they give themselves over. Be cut out. I ain't got that much time on my um my video, but y'all, I'm telling you, they give themselves over to these deities, and these deities, uh, Jesus is no longer at the wheel. These deities is in the front seat, y'all, and they rolling. You feel me? They rolling. They they telling these people what to do, what moves to make, and what you gonna get. See, that's what I'm saying. People are uh, uh, sacrifice their children. That's why these rappers dying because they sacrificing. They sacrifice. You ain't nothing but a commodity. You ain't nothing but cattle. You you got a price on your head and you got a label saying what grade you is. If you A B C D beef, you know what I'm saying? Blood, 
blood. That's all they want is blood, y'all. These demons want blood. These decent, dis- disembodied spirits need a host to house and to continue doing the work that they was doing when they was alive, when they was here on earth, y'all. That's all they doing is trying to continue because they, they, they hell is gonna last forever. You know? And Satan only got a thousand years. All that's almost up. So he trying to take, he trying to whatever, whatever, you know, whatever food chain that he, he running right now, he, he, whichever, um, how you say it, industry is, is rolling the fastest with taking souls. Okay. He Julian It's Julian. It's like a crack house. It's Julian. Y'all it's rolling. <laughs> they balling. <laughs> Satan balling right now, but it is by the will of God though. So these people are meant to go to the hell and the other people are meant to go to heaven. These people are, are meant to be caught up in the crossroads. You know, this is uh, the other half of the Bible written. This is revelations. Y'all is just playing out. Okay. We, we in the end times. This is the best time to be alive. We in the end times. So uh, take off. It was meant to happen or whatever. Cause he didn't have no Jesus in him. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care. And if you did, you wasn't utilizing that power. And that is so uh, Satan, he had his hand on you and, and God let him take you out. Remember Job? He said, okay, you know, Satan steady accusing uh, his brethren. You know, okay, God said, okay, you 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 do what you, you can test them and whatever, but you, you ain't going to lay a hand on them, but he's still going to be with me though. And then in the end, what happened though? Job had all the desires of his heart, more children, more riches, more everything. He was blessed by God in the end because he travailed. You know, he went through through the pains and he still proclaimed the true and living God because he knew. He knew that it was the acts, that it was the work of Satan. But and then, but still, even when he didn't understand through the through the storm, he just held strong and fast to the God, the true and living God. That's the that's the point. He was on the side of the true and living God, and God did not. God is not a man that he should lie. So he's not going to back down on his word. His word was given back to him by Job, and he succeeded. You see what I'm saying? And God had the glory, and uh, Job had the victory, even though what it looked like, these people are not on the side of God because Satan is already running it, and he giving these people a choice. And they, at the time they signing these contracts, and they are verbally taking these oaths and saying these words against God, um, th- this is the renunciation and the denunciation of Christ. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you 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 closing the door on Christ automatically as you upon you entering into this new venture. So you're you're in the you're in the pool of sharks now. You're you're in the pit of hell now. Remember Astro World? All of that, y'all. Come on now. These people is demonic. Come on, man. There's so many people Scientology. Um, um, Tom Cruise. Come on, all these people, y'all. Come on, Nas X, come on with your bathroom mat nasty butt. Giving it up, Rusty Screwdriver. I know they done tow your butt up. Like, you know, all type of stuff. So, I'm just saying, take off. It, it was a sacrifice, and it had something to do with his family. And maybe it didn't. Maybe it didn't, though. But it doesn't matter. Whoever is higher up said he had to go. And so, they already structured the scenarios. They already... Um, reconstruct the they construct because these demons are smart look up the definition of demon in your strong concordance and you know uh these deities they know more than you you're 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 you you don't know anything you only know what they tell you and then you don't even read so how would you know anything and that's how they mislead you and leaving you astray and tricking and fooling you and making man-made scenarios that you falling for the okie doke because you're not spiritual you're your your vibration ain't even high enough your oracle is not even up in the sky you know the 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 first heaven you're not you're not the, the third heaven excuse me you're not even in the third heaven like you're you're low vibration and so you're easy to fool and trick and to mislead and get you caught up. You know, it's easy to get your soul and your heart in a bottle. And, and that's, you know, to, to put the veil over your eyes, to blindfold you, to lead you astray to the slaughter, to make you a goat. Um, you talk about a sheep to the slaughter. No, a stubborn goat. You know, a rebellion. You know, 
which is witchcraft. All right, this is Marilla Pop. See, I'm out. Peace.